we have trekked to the Black Isle to capture some woodcock shooting with Italian guests before the end of the season. On this shoot they do things differently, shooting the birds over setters with bleeper collars. These indicator collars are absolutely necessary on this type of terrain as the dogs will often be out of sight. It isn't a traditional grouse mower like most English sportsmen would expect to see setters work, this is an Italian job. Leading sporting agent Hamish Cromarty from the Black Islander Company tells us how it's done and what to expect. Well today is the last day of the woodcock season and we're shooting in the Black Isle um, with Italian clients with their own pointing dogs brought especially over for the job from Italy. We we'll take them to sort of a traditional woodcock where we know there's woodcock in these wooded areas and heathery areas and there's sometimes thick wood, sometimes birch, sometimes sparse um, winds and gorse etc etc and depending on the weather conditions and uh, the type of you know the month it is we uh, go to designated areas and they go out in twos or threes and uh, it means a great deal to them they travel a long way and uh, bring their dogs and specially converted uh, uh, vehicles all the way from Italy and normally from Milan area etc and uh, over to north of Scotland via the ferry clients fly in to normally Edinburgh airport get picked up there taken north um, to where they're staying normally in a lodge and then on a daily basis in the morning they're collected and taken to different areas by guides and, uh, and let loose really. Normally we try and uh, point them in the right direction, sometimes they do um, object a little bit because they don't think it's, it's the right areas but basically when in Rome do as the Romans so um, we try and stick to, to that basis we think we know not the best but we think we know a little bit better about where the birds might be so you know, we try and guide them as best we can. One gun's wife has found time to text back home all the joys of tramping around after woodcock with hubby and friends, but there's no rest for the guns as they make their way through the forestry. Best practice is adhered to at all times. A walk in the park this is not. It's closer to being a fall in the bog for one unlucky chap. Woodcock are popular quarry with continental shooters. These sportsmen have come from far and wide to hunt here. Shooting guide Ugo tells us why. I bring the, bring the client in Scotland for uh, shoot woodcock. I drive and um, uh, I don't know where. Uh, I phone uh, Hamish for uh, any problem and uh, I go with uh, the hunter in the wood uh, in the trees for uh, found uh, woodcock. It's very special because uh, in Italian, like the hunter, like uh, shoot uh, vodka with uh, his uh, dog point. And in, it, in Italia, don't uh, stay many vodka also in uh, Scotland. Right. And they, they is very happy when they come in uh, Scotland. <laughs> with not many young people, but uh, many have in Italy don't have many young people. Uh, because the start uh, hunting is not uh, easy in Italy. We have many problems for license, we have many problems. Uh, it's very expensive <laughs> and uh, have problem for young people. Uh, I like take a woodcock and uh, bring home because the heat is very nice for heat, uh, the woodcock. Very, very nice. In Italy it's uh, speciality food. <laughs> There's been no sport as yet, but the setters are as active as ever, quartering the ground and searching for scent. Each dog's bleeper collar has a different tone so the hunters can keep in touch with them. The tone changes to a different note when the dogs become motionless, i.e. pointing. In the main they're English setters. They bring the odd uh, uh, other setter, Irish setter, and they bring the odd uh, German short-haired pointer, but in the main they're all um, English setters, which seem to be best suited for the job because they run all day incredible stamina and energy. Oh, oh, oh. As soon as they come on point the bleepers uh, start, uh, which are electric, they're not the electric collars, but the collars start uh, bleeping which indicates that the dog's on point. Then excitement builds and then they all, well hope not rush off, but they all go in the direction of the point that where the dog is on point and uh, hopefully flush the bird and, and shoot it. Right on cue there's a chorus of beeps from the dog's collars indicating they're on point. The excitement rises as this could be the first bird of the day. Okay. 
The guns are in for some tense moments as they walk towards the dogs in awkward cover. When in range, the setter will then be encouraged to flush. Woodcock are fast risers with a jink in flight. Quick reactions and safe, accurate shooting will be needed to take them down. Hamish stands back with his Labradors at heel. They will be needed for the retrieve, a setter's only point. They do not normally recover game. We've joined one promising gum to cover with the camera. Predictably, the first shot comes from another. We soon find the shot was successful and the first woodcock is in the bag. Oh, oh yes, they give it a lot of caressing, etc. And, and uh, yes, they love the woodcock. Yep, take the pin feathers out and it's a bit of an achievement. So yeah, they take a great pride in, in what they do shoot. Take everything shoot back to Italy, it doesn't matter if it's a woodcock, a grouse, a hare, or whatever the case, pigeon, anything at all to take back uh, to Italy. He's a very dark, beautiful dog. In the olden days they used to create them all up, have them frozen, prepared, frozen and, and taken back, especially in uh, frozen containers. It's one of the very good things about them, they do eat everything they do shoot. The shots start to come much more regularly now as the experienced dogs locate the revered woodcock. That's another one down, but still no action anywhere near our camera. There's time for one more chance though as the dog on point draws our gun deep into the undergrowth. A lot of them have been at it a long time and uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty good, they're pretty good at what they do, most of them, I've got to say, some of them are pretty crack shots, yeah, but they don't let the punch get away, I've got to say. The happy guns take the opportunity to converse in Italian. We can only assume they're saying, good shot. Birds in the bag, the team make their way back to meet Hamish. And here's proof the wifey we saw earlier is part of the team. And not just an interesting chick our cameraman had homed in on. He said it's uh, all the time the, the same... Uh, she uh, she, uh, she um, changed the post uh, five times. Oh, I see. I, I, I stop. Stop. Yes, yes. Stop. The lady translator explained that the setter pointed the woodcock five times and Hamish proved his wide grasp of Italian. See? 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 The guns have done well today in less than ideal conditions, but the real stars of the show were the setters. It's not the usual British way to hunt woodcock, but with a performance like that, the Italians certainly showed their work and work too. Ugo sums up the season. Today is a very nice day. See, I think, I think uh, 10, 12 woodcock, shoot uh, 4, 5 and uh, take uh, 2 woodcock. Oh, very nice, very nice. For uh, the client, it's very nice. Very nice season. Uh, uh, last year and two years ago, not uh, so many nice, but this year is very nice season. Shoot many woodcock, many, many. Happy, happy, happy. But it's happy all day when uh, coming the, uh, with Amish, is uh, very happy all the all time. <laughs> happy, 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 happy. <laughs>